Hello people, this is the uh, paper 2H for LXL GCSE Maths. Uh, it's a predicted paper. So question one, P is equal to 200 to one significant figure and Q is equal to 43.6 to one decimal place. Part one, write down the upper and lower bounds for P and Q. Part two, hence calculate the lower bound of PQ over P plus Q. Leave your answer to three significant figures. Question two, a is equal to 2.6, B is equal to minus 4.3, and C is equal to minus 2.1. Calculate the value of A squared minus C squared over 3 minus 2B. Write down all the digits on your calculator. Question 3. John is 7 years older than his brother. His brother is 7 times the age of his niece. Work out the difference between the ages of John and his niece. Question 4. Factorize the following fully. Part 1, 5x squared minus 7x minus 6. Part 2, 2x cubed minus 50x. Okay, and that's question 4. And question 5, sketch the graph of y equals sine x for values between 0 and 364x. Question 6, John bought a brand new car for £25,000. The car depreciates in value by 30% a year. He reckons a car will be worth less than £6,000 by the end of the fourth year. Is John correct? Question 7. The points A, B and C are such that A is 1, 5, B is 4, minus 3 and C is 2, minus 2. Work out the equation of parallel line to B, C through the point A. Okay, so that is question 7. Question 8. Work out the angle BCD on the diagram. It's a circle theorem question, so write reasons for each stage of your working. Okay, so that's a diagram again. Question nine. Work out the area of the quadrilateral PQRS. You can see the quadrilateral is made from two triangles, uh, and the triangle PRS is a right angle triangle, the other one is a normal triangle. Okay, that's question nine. Question 10, expand and simplify the following. Part one, x plus five times two x minus three times two x plus three. Part two, three plus root five squared minus one minus root five times two plus root five. Question 11, a force F Newtons is applied to an area of 0.25 meters squared with 25 pascals pressure. Work out the value of F. Question 12. P is directly proportional to Q squared. When Q is minus eight, P is 192. Work out the values of Q when P is equal to 75. Convert 400 meters squared into centimeter squared. Eleven. So question thirteen, that is, and question fourteen. F of x is equal to five minus x, five minus four x minus x squared. Sketch the graph of y equals five minus four x minus x squared on the grid below, clearly showing all points of intersections with the coordinate axis. On the same diagram, sketch the graph of y equals two f x minus two minus three clearly showing all transformed points of intersections with the coordinate axis from part one. Okay. Question 15, simplify the following. 16x squared y to the seven over 45x to the six y to the four times 36x to the five y to the nine over 24x to the minus three y to the three. And question 16, the functions f and g are such that f of x equals to 2x minus 1 over 3 and g of x equals to 4x minus 3. Solve the equation f inverse of x equals to g of f of 5. Question 17. A class has 40 students, 12 study French, 25 study history and 20 study geography. Two people study all three, 9 study history and geography only, 7 study French and history and five study French and geography. Part one, draw a Venn diagram to represent the above information. Part two, work out the probability of a student studying none of the mentioned subjects. 
So that's the paper guys uh, and good luck.